Today we have got Manchester City versus Crystal Palace. Huge game in the Premier League. City wanting to carry on their good form in the Premier League. Palace also four games unbeaten. A couple of them, by the way, they could have won and probably should have won. They were winning into the 90th minute and the, uh, the, the drop points there. So confidence should be okay and high from, from both teams, albeit City lost in the EFL Cup. Disappointing, many changes that you'd expect in the EFL Cup, but still a, a competition that they'd won for a few years in a row. I'm expecting Palace to, to have more of the ball than usual. It seems to be a Patrick Vieira style to retain the ball, to move the ball quickly. Some exciting plays that I'm really looking forward to seeing. Um, Zaha, as usual, Benteke back in the goals. Gallagher on loan from Chelsea looks a real quality player. So the, uh, the, they have some, some real good talent. I'd expect them to be fearless against City, if you can say that. City are gonna do the usual thing. My theory, Phil Foden is better than Lionel Messi. There you go, clip that. I, I actually think that this boy has everything now, not just a, as a prospect. Then you've got on the other side, you've got Jack Grealish, 100 million pound footballer. Really looking forward to see, seeing him in action again today. Big crowd, we're about 10 minutes away. Seat selection, by the way, we're next to the away fans, so we wanna capture all of the atmosphere. So uh, it should be a good one. It's raining and the sun is shining only in Manchester. Let's have it. Come on. We have arrived at the Etihad Stadium, ready for a big game. As I said, the sun is out, but it's definitely going to rain. Match day scarf on from a previous visit to the Etihad. Let's get straight into it. I'm sensing an upset. I've got a funny feeling that Crystal Palace are going to do a job here today. Bold prediction, but let's see what the today let's see what the day brings. Come on, vlog that you'll see on the channel. It was Goodison Park, great game, great atmosphere, but the stark contrast between the actual, what goes on around the stadium. Over there, it's very traditional. Same from the one from the week before at Villa Park. You've got traditional grounds, street, roads, houses next to the ground. Here, completely different story. This is a purpose-built venue and it's just got all sorts going on. Let
interestingly, I'm in a safe standing area, which I didn't think was enforced yet, but clearly it is. Take a little look at this. So you've got rails all in this section. Away fans up in that area. You can clearly see the dugout area there. And uh, the rest of the stadium that will hopefully be uh, full today.
soma.